Hey guys, if you haven't seen yesterday's video, go and check it out. Links are down below. We have a very special announcement. I don't really want to talk too much about it here, so go and watch the video and we'll get into this one. Horrible DM thread. I'll start. Insists on Pathfinder. Self-insert DM player character. Doesn't allow fun roles. Steals plot from Chinese cartoons. <laughs> <Said> by Chinese. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, that's quite a cardinal sitting right there, you know. <laughs> um, also, I couldn't help but take this here thread just because I have been guys in biz quite a bit recently. And after seeing the booba, I was like, you know what? <laughs> Boobas get fucked, though. Boobas get fucked. This is dull territory, bitch. <laughs> Play an online one shot. Not familiar with systems. It's one of these actual old school ones. Because the GM is the only one with real system mastery, and because one shot, he built a bunch of characters for us and we selected from a mass that he gave us. I picked the rather ridiculously named Lex Duthis. I wonder what that oh, character is. No, Lex do this. Do that? Oh, let's oh, do this. Oh, oh, oh yeah, okay, oh. I get it. A hot blooded barbarian from steps far to the east of where we're at now, where I've been surviving doing grunt mercenary work party gets hired to recover some documents that will apparently prove that some land deal was bogus and can get it reversed. So we need to assault the house of this merchant prince, but stealth and discretion are in order. Since we can't just go in and start chopping people to dog meat, I suggest a ruse of starting a small fire in a point visible from where the gate guards are, so that we can ambush them when they go to check it out or pull it out. That should let us in the front door. GM's response. Your character's too stupid to come up with a plan that good. I'm vetoing it. N no. No. <laughs> no. What are you on about? Like you know, setting traps, ambition. Like I know. you know, you, you, first of all, like if you, I'm going to assume it's a step, so like you know, it's like a barren tundra. Yeah. There's no, there's nowhere to hide. Yeah. It's all just hilly grassland. You know, that seems, that seems pretty plausible with yeah. the backstory that was given. Yeah. Intelligence isn't even a stat in this system. The closest thing you get are perception and willpower, both of which my character is pretty average for a human. When I complain about this, GM starts saying that I smell too bad for him to understand me. <laughs> well, you smell. The, fu the fuck we're playing over Zoom. <laughs> ah, that's quality. Oh my god, that's oh that's. I love this. I love this. Get muted for ten minutes. When I get unmuted, as soon as I open my mouth, GM says over me. And is now half screaming, diarrhea, plop, plop, diarrhea. <laughs> what? 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 Leave the game. We'll probably be more angry, but it was so weird and over the top that I'm honestly more confused than anything else. I have, n I have no idea. To be honest with you. Uh, diarrhea, plop, plop, diarrhea. <laughs> that's a really unusual way to deal with your emotions. What the fuck? Oh, shit's not going my way. Diarrhea, poop, poop, diarrhea. <laughs> like, what? Maybe I might try this next time something bad's happening to me. Uh, tax returns came in. Diarrhea, poop, poop, I don't go for it. Sweet job, dog. Don't need to worry about it. I'll just mute the government so well. <laughs> like, I have no idea. Um, unusual. Um... Definitely an unusual way to handle. Have you guys ever dealt with anything like this? Has your autism ever seeped out that badly <laughs> that this is the way you handle it? Fuck, I have no idea. GM gets me into the game. He's first time GM. We play for about one and a half years before the group falls apart due to drama because the GM created a shitty hostile environment and wasn't competent. I'd started my own game half a year before the group fell apart with some of the players in his campaign. I adopted the rest that were without game. Everyone is super invested in it, and we play twice a week sometimes. Having a good grand time with good GM player relations. Old GM can't for the life of him get a new campaign going and spurs out towards me. Get absolutely fucking wrecked, you Swedish cunt. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the, you know, the problem is, like, as I say, it was his first time doing it. He wasn't prepared. No. Um, it does. I wouldn't I, hold it against I, him. I, and the, yeah, I wouldn't really hold it too much against him. And, like, you know, like, I think the biggest problem with being a DM, it's knowing how to handle people a lot of the time. Yeah. Like, being a DM requires so many different skills, especially to be a good one. Like, anyone can be a DM, but, like, you know, there's a, a lot of, like, shit skill. one. Yeah. You, do, you do need a whole plethora of skills skills of how to wrangle people and yeah. like, you know and still keep things working yeah. and keep everyone on Try and keep it on the same track. Yeah, you know, and not railroad, not yeah. on my tracks. Alright guys. GM only tolerated me for a while because he wanted to bang my older <laughs> sister. <laughs> <Beast>. <laughs> that entire time he hated me with a passion for some reason. 
I had no friends at the time to start with, and springing this on an already fragile high schooler made me seriously ponder the beliefs of suicide. Aw. That's sad. Thanks, Tony. Hope your eventual quintuple bypass feels as horrible as your marriage, you fat piece of shit. Yeah, fuck you, Tony. <laughs> well, I mean, like, the real question is, did he succeed? Did he bang your sister, did, did, he, did he fuck your sister? You know, that's the real question. <laughs> But yeah, that seems like a really horrible... Like, what? I don't know. I don't know. What do you do with people like that? People That's- just being dicks for the sake of being a dick. I know. Like, you like, know... There's enough fucking hate and malice in this world. You uh, really don't need to spread it. Any more than what you already have yeah. to be. You uh-huh. know what I mean? Yeah. Playing a space campaign that's not Star Trek, but suspiciously has all the qualities of it. So, okay. <laughs> not Star Trek, okay. <laughs> Go to First Planet. It's a medieval planet. Uh, Plabbit. Yeah, plabbit. <laughs> plabbit. <laughs> Why is that funnier than what it should be? That's a lot funnier than what it should be. It's a medieval planet with guards. Just do whatever. Storyteller hasn't come up with anything. Try one more session. Same thing. Mike, wait. You just walk into a session and he hasn't come up with anything. He's like, yeah, guys, go ahead. Just uh, you, you, you do what you want. <laughs> Okay. I, I suppose that's not the worst way to do it. Like, you know, if you're good but at improvising, then you know, that, you know yeah. that's all right. But, like, you know, at least have... It doesn't like, seem like he's... Mate, at least, get, at, least, at least have a fetch quest. Like, go, go get the MacGuffin yeah. to fix the thing, to do the thing, to do the thing. You yeah. know what I mean? So my character starts taking off all his clues just to see a response from the DM. Nothing. I just left after that. It was my second experience playing a tabletop, and God, it was miserable. What kind of storyteller treats the game like a sandbox video game? Yeah, well, you know... Whenever there's no, like, story to it at all, or there's no at least roughly made... Like, I get DMs improvising on the go, but if there's no, like, roughly made path or story... You want, what the you, fuck are you meant to you, do? You want something overarching, like, you know, not everything has to be related, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And but normally if you go into improvised games, normally, like, the first one or two sessions have been written and planned out yeah, to lead up to improvisation, improvisation. Yeah, you've you got know? something, you've got a basic idea of what you want to do, yeah. you know what I mean? I really want to know what he was trying to do when he decided, you know what, I'm just going to take my clues off, guys. <laughs> what was the, what was the well, plan there? Well, he wanted there? to get a reaction to see what would happen, but... Or... He wants the DRP. Yes, that um, is. That, you know, and he gets boinks on head. Yeah, extra boinks on head for your filthy, filthy ways. <laughs> Where do I begin? DM been in friend group for years. Doing nonsensical dark sun with me. Black guy, lurker, autist, and edge man. Pretty fucking base grip. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds like the average grip, to be honest with you, yeah. Six sessions in. DM postpones the next session. Medical problems. Understandable. This continues. Party's cool with it, and we do a different thing. DM hasn't been speaking at all. Ignores PMs. Black Guy reveals DM hated the grip in PM. Especially Edgeman for being a Nazi. Why did I just what? know Edgeman was a Nazi? Yeah, why well, did I you, that, know that's it? kind of the standard, but why is Edgeman playing with a black man then? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, he's not that, he can't be that much of a Nazi <laughs> if he's well. It's like, okay, you, you know, you know he, he may be. He may be subhuman. However, I really need a D and D grip, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm go- I'm gonna I'm gonna just Edge Man just deals <laughs> with it. You know that just I don't know I don't know. I, I, see, whenever I hear anyone being called a Nazi at this point, I just say, "Oh, right, okay." Yeah. You know. And mostly the ones who say that they are like Nazis themselves or fascists themselves are the biggest fucking. Degenerate. Oh yeah, yeah. I've met, I've met quite a few that like actually. Oh, they're yeah. really into fanboys. Yeah, they, the fanboys are just ridiculous. It's <laughs> like it's, it's, hyper ridiculous. Like, I've come across three so far. One I know IRL. Uh, yeah. And two, I've spoken to at great lengths, and they love the fanboys. Yeah, it's so like, weird. Fanboys is top tier to them. It's so which. I in just sense, if you could imagine this getting back to like actual Nazis, they'd be <laughs> slaughtered. <laughs> we see. Tells friendship grip, no one cares but me, Edge Man and Black Guy. DM starts talking again like nothing happened. They delete the tabletop channel. Then gives the grip Spurg mod powers, who deletes all the channels. Server owner gets pissed and deletes the server. Other friend invites them all to a new server. Return status quo minus me and Black Guy. Edge Man leaves Discord entirely. It still doesn't feel real. That like spiral or spiral. Uh, it that, did that, spiral. That spiral out of control. Um, it's a little shame, not be honest with you. Like you know, especially if you knew the guy for years, you know. Well, but as long as you're all like 
kind of like stayed together and like had another game between yourselves <laughs> doesn't really matter fuck yeah. the DM I suppose that's true B fighter cleric dual class after two years IRL and 20 years in game my brother gets killed fending off a demon invasion along with another two of the five total characters that seems like a worthy death yeah DM made a point of describing the afterlife for us except for me I don't have one Turns out my cleric's god was actually a high tier demon, and I've been doomed to the abyss as a little worm ever since dual classing. Nah, it's bullshit. Uh, no, that's no, no. Because the thing is, he's not even playing the character anymore. That's yeah. like almost a way of the DM said, you know what, you know your character? Fuck, Fuck your you. character. <laughs> yeah. It would be different if maybe he had pretended to be a cleric and he was actually a, a warlock. Yeah. And like, you know, maybe he'd pretended to the whole group yeah. the entire time. No, that's bullshit. That's ju- that's just a way for the DM being like, hey, fuck you guys. <laughs> My sitting. Diary of Poopy Diary. Yeah, diary Poopy Diary. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In addition, everyone whose lives were saved by me are an extension doomed for accepting the help of a demon follower. Despite my character not being aware of all this, despite my character having good intentions, despite being the voice of reason in an evil leaning grip, I've been softening the world for a demon invasion the whole time. I've never made a religious character since. I'd legitimately have rather had lose lose you feel situations as a paladin than this shit. That is really bullshit. Be honest yeah. with you. That I I don't I don't like that. That, that gives me well, a bit of a bad taste. How could he be like? I don't get how he could be like damned and is like he doesn't have an afterlife. Whenever he didn't even know that he was doing it. Yeah. It's as you said. It's different if he knew but was acting like a cleric, but he was actually an evil warlock. Yeah. You know. No, that, I don't get that. And, and like you know, I'm I'm pretty sure like okay, so and if he he says he had good he's had good intentions throughout the campaign, and he's been the voice of reason and an evil leaning grip. So how in the hell? Surely oh, I, his soul would have been saved purely by that. I mean, like you know, unless unless they decide, you know what? Well, you know what would be actually kind of cool if. Um, they are given okay instead of sick good fame here's Eldritch Blast or something yeah you know what I mean or maybe oh here you get to pick some extra side spells here you can if, you, if you're impressed in it maybe if the DM yeah. wanted to mm-hmm. but you know at least at least hint at it or yeah. like you know, I don't know I, I, that, I just that, think that's completely bullshit that, that, that is bullshit and I'm gonna declare that as poo poo diary or poo poo <laughs> you're getting muted fuck you guys <laughs> hey guys do you like models in your tabletop role playing games cause we do too do you like having big bitty waifus on your table? Because we do too. <laughs> <laughs> we got human bitties. We got lizard bitties. We got orc bitties, oni bitties, cat bussies. We've got everything you want at neckbeardia.co.uk. <laughs> Check the links down below. It helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video. Let's get on the story. Playing alchemist in a real light homebrew system with party on quest a foreign country. Tasked to find the missing pieces of some ancient super weapon and bring them home. Encounter first challenge and reach from my alchemy kit. DM. You don't have one. Me. What? I'm an alchemist. Of course I have one. I've always had one. This system doesn't even track items. DM. Well, you left it back home and we'll have to buy a new one because I said so. Bullshit. Bullshit. Later, we're given a teleportation stone of plot convenience. GM gets mad when we discuss how abusable the mechanics are. Resident Weeb decides planning is for dorks and leaves to go be mysterious somewhere else. <laughs> Why, Why are you like, like this? this? <laughs> Why? GM warns there will be consequences. Suddenly no guards patrolling a heavily trafficked part of a major city. Mob of criminals materialise and attack Weeb. Weeb trounces them and goes about his business. This happened twice in the same session before the GM gave up. Party discovers one piece of the super weapon has surfaced at a local pawn shop. Plans smash and grab high schools very well. Then GM decides the timid elderly shopkeeper is actually a hulking wall of bomb blast and muscle. Pure anime moment right there. <laughs> yeah. that, that's a pure anime moment of the <laughs> yeah. Royal guards pour in from every street around the shop. Apparently this was some kind of elaborate trap set by the local rulers. Shopkeep declares that our situation is hopeless. Escape anyway. Despite the bullshit, we're thrilled with our hard-fought victory. GM huffy that we won. And we never played another session of that game again. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Um, you know, actually, that reminds me of a session you weren't in. And actually, uh, this was a while back, where we had a magic shop heist. And it was actually a really fun session. 
Um, the, what, so what we had done was, in the previous sessions, we had cleared out the sewer system underneath, yeah. and we got a school of teleportation, but it only teleported us like 10 metres or so. Yeah. Um, we ended up going into the magic shop, going in, down into the vault. We had, It was some really good goals, I don't want to go too much into it, but uh, that's how we ended up escaping. We ended up teleporting ourselves just 10 down. metres down, down, you know, down into the series. It was actually a really fun, like, Mission Impossible style. <laughs> no. I really enjoyed it. Honestly, oh, God, guys, if you haven't had it, go at like a good house mission, house mission yeah. I would I would recommend it you know yeah. what I mean um, you know it doesn't have to be a magic shop you know but uh, we definitely did stuff our pockets with everything we could find <laughs> level one party trying to join some knight slash paladin group they were sort of public selection process basically a public competition obstacle course is fine but boring Lawful good paladins raised some corpses they had lying around wait what what paladins <laughs> okay this is very unusual Okay, lawful good paladins raised some corpses they had lying around as undead as a form of combat trial. GM fucks up on counterbalancing so hard we get TPK'd one hour into the first session. The paladin stands idly by, fingering their butts, while the crowd watches the zombies the paladin raised tear us apart. The paladin order is still supposed to be the good guys. Campion dies. <laughs> I've... In uh, what world? <laughs> um, okay, well, that's very unusual. Yeah. But, like, no one, like, you know, like, the crowd enjoys a bit of blood sports. You know what I mean? If you die, you die. And, like, you know, to me, join a paladin order and stuff like that, or, like, a knightly order, you do need to prove your worth. And I do think, like, you know, the chances of dying in trial combat, I don't really mind that. I don't even it, care about that. I'm still thinking about the lawful good paladin raising corpses. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, that's, um... <laughs> It's a definitely a strange choice, to yeah. say the least. It's definitely not what I would go for, and it would definitely raise a few eyebrows. Like, wait, what? But <laughs> for all we know, like, you know, maybe the DM, ha- like, you know, this is only the very start. Maybe they weren't these awful good guys after maybe all. Maybe they weren't. Um, maybe that's why they never helped. Maybe that's why you need to get in. Maybe if you joined the order, then you could find out more. Of the- like, it, 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 wouldn't be, it wouldn't be that usual for a, a, an order to keep secrets. Yeah, with, with that, but you know what yeah. I mean. So I'm I'm open to the idea of maybe they just didn't get that far, you know, and the DM just didn't inform them because he yeah. wants to keep it for a later time. GM is a computer science grad and a massive computer nerd. Mission where we have to save a man who's been abducted. Eventually, come to the man in a snuff room with okay, okay, with a glass bulletproof window and robots torturing him. Is this hostile? <laughs> GM describes this all in graphic detail. Find terminal near the room that apparently controls the robots inside of it, and another laptop with Linux installed on it. <laughs> Have to hack into the terminal using the laptop. It's an ultra realistic recreation of an actual hacking, complete with the GM posting full info dumps into the chat after every command. None of us know how to hack. <laughs> GM refuses to give us any hints. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't choose to fucking computer Hello, science, I'm okay, done. guys? Like, I can't code. Have you ever tried to use Excel? It's really shit. I really <laughs> hate Excel. I hate databases. Coding's not for me, guys. I'm sorry. Someone tries looking up how to hack on his, <laughs> how to hack on his phone, but it's a 30-minute video. GM notices this, starts describing the robots, cutting the man into ribbons. Be careful, you don't have long left. <laughs> Man eventually dies from having skull crushed in front of us. Fail mission. Get abducted by the guy he give us the mission. Have all of our items taken and then have to fight our way out of the same snuff room as punishment. Mate, this is hostile. What This, this is fu- fucking hostile. It sounds like Saw. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah. She works Saw, yeah. Don't even get our items back after the campaign is over. Two PCs failed the strength slash deck check to get out and died in the same way that the man who failed the escape died. I mean, it was creative and interesting. But what the fuck was the GM thinking by putting a puzzle in the game that he knew absolutely none of us would be able to solve? I mean, like, like it is how cool. many people know how to fucking hack? I'm, I mean, like, if if he was playing in a group with, with people, people from, from, his, from his, his like class, course. yeah, that would actually be a really cool. You know, that's yeah. a, that's a, actually you know what I think that would be a really cool way to garden. Oh, and, yeah. and I think it's a better it's way more interactive it, I think you would take in the information a lot better yeah. however if you're not taking computer science <laughs> you don't yeah, you, you, like, like, it, it may as well be gobbledygook let's be sure um, yeah, I, I think I'm hacking whenever I um, go into my email and forgot password <laughs> <laughs> hacker man 9000 hacker man. <laughs> yeah I, I have no idea with it. like what do you do with it? It, it is a cool idea and I do like the concept however 
let's be serious, <laughs> you need to have people that actually know what they're doing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Can you give us a bit more, you know, can I just go like a 16, 17, 18 plus? Would that be cool? Can you just give it to me if I get, do that goal? That'll be nice. Second one by the same guy in the same campaign. GM also really likes chess and plays in chess tournaments. One of the villains in his game is a cryptic mastermind who constantly gives us chess tactic puzzles that contain hints about the campaign. Is this the opposite of a DM player character? This is a DM player character, big bad evil guy? <laughs> that's what it sounds like to me, self-insert to a certain extent. <laughs> Eventually we sort of learn how to play chess so we can solve the puzzles. Eventually the clues tell us the locations of the cryptic mastermind. It's a trap. As soon as we enter the mastermind's lair, a ton of robots pop out and start aiming at us. Mastermind explains that they will play a game of chess, and if we manage to beat him, the mastermind will shoot himself. If not, the robots will kill one of our PCs. I mean, that sounds like the like the DM is going to do it himself. He's going to pull out a gun and people go his fucking go his fucking brains out. It's like these fucking eh, the, these commoners beat me. <laughs> I asked the GM how many robots there are and how well armed are they. Roll a knowledge check. Get a high score. They're carrying military grade weapons. Amongst the mass of guns pointing at you, you can clearly identify Gatling guns, explosives, shotguns, etc. Ask the mastermind if they can just leave instead. He screams, No! If you dare attempt to deny me my ultimate climax of my <laughs> efforts. Please don't call it climax. Oh! Please don't call it that. Then all, any of you, other word. then all of you shall be wiped from the face of this planet in an instant. Or something like that. Decide we have no choice but to play this game. GM posts link to chess game in our chat. Get in. Turns out the GM is playing the mastermind and we have to work together to play against him. We get checkmated in 15 moves. GM is laughing at us through the mastermind this entire time. Well then, which one of you will be the one to pay the price for your party's grand ignorance? One guy who's sick of his character volunteers. Not only do you lack intellect, but you also lacked honour. GM proceeds to describe how the robots blast the heads of everyone but the guy he volunteered to die to smithereens. That's actually kind of funny. I like that. That's, oh. that's, that's, that's actually, you know what? I'm, I'm okay with that. Perhaps this discourse has served to write not only your lack of knowledge, but also your lack of valor in the face of hopelessness. GM seems really really happy as he does this. <laughs> Fuck me, this I mean, guy. You this know who this reminds me of? What? Um, what's the, not Dexter, but you know the one. Oh, which the, like his enemy in Dexter's laboratory? Oh, I thought you mean Dexter. <laughs> it's zero color. No, no, I can, I can remember. It's I can't the remember. one with the black hair in Dexter's laboratory. Yes, I think I know what you're on about. <laughs> it reminds me of him. <laughs> yes, you know, actually, I'll be honest with you. This actually does sound really fun, and I do actually like the idea of importing other like mini games mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. like you know and I, I do think the DM is trying to aim for something I just don't think the player like you know the group that he's playing with <laughs> you're in the middle of a game and you get attacked by worms next minute and like the Slitherio comes up <laughs> you don't want to play it. Uh, but, you know I, I'm not opposed to that I actually do think that's kind of funny <laughs> You know, um, it does have its mark, you know, yeah. to a certain extent. I just don't think the group dynamic is all there for, yeah. you know. But I, I, I get he was he was aiming for something and he just didn't quite get it. So, guys, I think that's where we're going to end it. However, I will say, next time I run into any confrontation with anyone, Diarrhea! Poop, poop, diarrhea. diarrhea! Poop, poop. Yeah, and I'm just going to mute you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know I mute people IRL, you know. <laughs> Get the ball guy go to put this in. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like some of the DMs, they were just aiming for something and they just didn't really get to achieve what yeah. they were. I think they have grand plans and big ideas, but it just doesn't really go yeah. the way they had in mind. I think that's what most of these bad, horrible like DM stories, posts, are. Uh, stories are about. Just DMs that... No, don't execute it well enough, and yeah. then they get annoyed whenever it's not executed well enough, and the players are taking the piss. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can, not, I can see it. I can understand it. I'm like, you know, and I am very sympathetic to most DMs because it is like it's I, a hard. I, 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 I'm, I I'm not a good never. DM. I've, I've, I've DM'd a few times, and I know myself. I yeah, know my own abilities. <laughs> Like I'm, I'm not a good DM, so that's why I'm like, you know what? It's just not my area of expertise. I, I enjoy playing as a character. It takes a special person to be a DM. It does. It does. It takes a lot of skill, a lot of patience. a lot of patience. <laughs> yeah, a lot of, <laughs> a lot fucking, of fucking patience. patience. Um, you know, so please don't give your 
please don't give your DM too much psychic damage. Yeah. Uh, try and tone it back if you can. You know, I am very sympathetic, as I yes. say, but... But, as always, go and check the links, the models. We've got a t-shirt out. It's pretty cool, pretty edgy. Oh, yeah, pretty edgy, but I, I like it. I think it looks pretty yeah. cool. It looks awesome. Hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!